Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are finally going to talk about the Damier Licious collection. Ah! Honestly, let's just get straight into it. I'm so sorry about the delay for this video it's because i know a lot of people have actually been talking about it for the past month but they would only give out maybe like seven to eight pictures and i wanted to see the full collection so i was just waiting for it to fully be released so it actually just got released on the website i know some people on the subreddits were posting pictures that they've already pre-ordered and purchased from them so that's awesome so if any of you guys pre-ordered and got anything already please leave me a comment down below but without further ado let's get into the website so right when you went to the website you already see this beautiful spring color but let's just deep dive into it okay so i'm just gonna kind of scan through i already know just from the get-go and seeing people on subreddits the neverfull mm and the on the go mm i would have to say are the most popular but one of my favorites especially the fact that it was on the home page is the pochette matisse east west one me being biased because i actually really like this bag in monogram but we're just gonna call it at dami okay so the at dami which is essentially the pinky yellow one i love 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 this i mean i feel like this whole collection screams spring and summer vibes especially the yellow color already so it's just your typical pochette matisse east west but obviously with the color and then the inside is pastel yellow without a doubt because we all know that lisa's favorite color is yellow i'm sure she either got gifted this bag or she bought it with her own money either way it's just oh it's so beautiful and it's so special any Anything with this s lock is going to have a higher price point if you guys didn't know that it's just that's the way it is just like all the trunks the side trunks the petite mouths anything with this s lock mucho expensive which is a tragedy but i think this is adorable and then it has the back pocket i'm a sucker for anything with a back pocket i wanted to see if they had this available in the green and blue one but they don't so they only have the pochette matisse east west in this yellow color which i feel like is kind of unfortunate i feel like if they made one in the green version too like i thought they would make one of each bag in both but i guess that's maybe too much variety but okay and then let me just run through the neverfull mm really quickly just because i feel like this is probably the number one bestseller on or the number one most sought after at least on subreddit what i do like about this is the fact i mean of course it has the yellow interior but i actually like the different sizes of the damier azure print i love that the inside it's small checkers and then the outside is the bigger ones it's kind of similar to when they did the buy the pool collection they would have different sizing on the inside and the outside which i actually really really like like they would have the tile bits of the small one on the inside and then the outside would be like the big monogram so let me see if this one is available in the green no so this one also is only in the yellow and then they have a pochette accessoires oh my word 1730 Ooh, i think this is really cute i guess this is the only picture i'm gonna uh, just assume by default that the inside i'm sure is yellow but yeah so they i feel like for at least the pochette accessoires because it's smaller that they should have made this available in both the green and the yellow and then here is the on the go mm i'm gonna try to run through this just because i feel like there's a lot and actually this is the first time that i'm looking through it just because i wanted to have like a real first impressions but this is just your signature on the go mm i wonder if they did any of the dummy delicious in the on the go pm especially i feel like the pm i've seen way more recently oh my god the inside is mint why did i think the inside was gonna be a pastel green color i feel like i saw some pictures of it before but it kind of went away but this is like a true soft blue mint color which i think is really pretty i thought it was going to be more green but it has your normal stuff like the straps on the inside and then the zipper pocket i really love the color combination on this and again i'm pretty sure yeah so this one is only available in the green okay so they do have the alma bb as well i think we all know what the alma is i'm gonna assume the inside is yellow too yep and it does have that cute little mini dummy is your detail on the inside i think that's cute if you guys just want a little taste see one of my favorite things about the dummy a delicious collection it's like really tongue twister for me to say that is the fact that the dami squares are larger oh and i love that this one the interior is pink i feel like i mean i personally love yellow but i like the variety that the bags on the inside are yellow and then this slg on the inside is pink so i mean this is a very signature standard louis vuitton wallet it's called the victorian wallet i think this is really really cute i personally am a rosalie girly but that's really cute and then they do have the speedy bandoulier in 
the blue i think this is cute the only thing is i feel like what most people say is, so you can tell just from the photo i mean i guess we'll click on it but the fact that this is untreated let me just double check yeah so it's cowhide which is essentially vaquetta i just don't know how this would look with vaquetta so i wanted my background to be damier s so you can see my bags are very very old easily like 10 years old and you can see the damier with the vaquetta this is like super patinaed and i mean i still like the vibes but i wonder how it would look with like the green and the blue i wish that for the speedy that they made this with treated leather because they're honey golden pre patina pieces i actually like the shade that they use <gasps> oh guys they have the nano no way i wonder if they made this bigger or if it's the same exact ratio as the current one hold on, let me just check this because that looks untreated okay yeah so this is natural cowhide so the normal nano no way that they have is actually treated leather but they made this vaquetta i mean i guess that just kind of comes with it damier azure in general just a really stark white vaquetta trimming just a really stark white vaquetta lining i feel like that's what kind of makes it pop even more but I mean, I really like this. You guys know how I feel. So the Nana no Way monogram version is 1620. So the Dami Delicious version is 1980. So what, that's like a $300 price jump just for like it being special edition. I wish they at least made it a pre-patina at the very least if it's gonna be $300 more, but I mean, you guys know me, I love the Nana no Way aesthetically. I think it's super cute. The only thing that hurts me is the fact that it doesn't fit a pro. Like, I just wish it was maybe one inch taller. So they do have it available in the wallet. See, I just love the jumbo Damier squares. I just feel like that's so, so cute. Oh, see this? Ooh, the Romy card holder. This specifically? Oh my god, and it says place the card. It's available. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I actually really, really like this. The only thing that I wish the Romy card holder had was another additional pocket in the front so you guys see that there's a bunch of slits here and i love the inside i mean i would wish personally that instead of the lv zipper they use like a fleur-de-lis like a flower crescent would have been nicer but i just wish that this front so for this obviously i do really like it because it's just like the big jumbo squares but i wish they just added maybe like one slit here like i wish the front wasn't just designed like i wish there was like a functional part of the front like i i like zippy coin holders that have like two purposes if that makes sense kind of like the recto verso where you can kind of use both sides i believe but just really quick that's why this matcha color, if it had a slit in the front, I honestly would buy it, but it doesn't. So that's what's making me hold back on it. But I actually really like this. If any of you guys are getting this Romy card holder, please let me know. I would love, love, love it. Okay, so this print i've seen it before i don't know if it's part of the damielicious collection somebody correct me if i'm wrong so it's in also oh, this is part of the spring summer okay so it's technically not the damielicious but they just put it in here because of course damier so this is in celeste blue that's why it's kind of like a deeper navy blue color Ooh, let me see the inside Ooh, that's a really gorgeous shade of blue on the inside. I do really, really like that. I feel like though the shade of blue on the outside is very sporty, like very tennis-esque, I feel. Very summery. I feel like between the regular Damier Azur and this, not counting the interior, just the actual squares, I actually like the regular Damier Azur more, but I do like the inside color of this, but oh my word, I just saw the price, 2200 <gasps> What? <laughs> That's crazy! Even what, a Pusha Accessoires is 1700 I would feel like max, 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 max would be 1900 2230 Um, I don't think so personally, just because you can get a Lexington pouch vintage for like less than $500, so that's wild. That's, that's gonna be a no for me. Ooh, I don't know if this is part of the Damier Azur collection, but I just wanna talk about it really quick. I wanna see a close up. <gasps> see, I didn't know if they were crystals or beads, but you can tell the beading, but I like that they kind of kept with the pinks, orangey, yellow theme. What color is it inside? <gasps> that's actually so pretty. I really like this. I mean, considering the beadwork, and the twist bag on its own is already really expensive. It's a full leather bag, so i i do like this i approve of this bag i would love to see this on in person i feel like crystal bags online look kind of creepy but then when you actually try on a crystal bag or a beaded bag in person that's when you really see the beauty of it but i love the shade of like peachy pink on the inside of this i like it i'm a fan i'm a fan i love how i was on this huge hate train on east west bags when they first started getting more popular and now i'm just like not about it oh i guess i'll just run through this whole navy collection really quick this isn't part of dummy 
delicious but since we're here i love 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 this navy color like love i like that it actually leans more black navy than blue navy you know sometimes there's navy blues but they lean more like brighter blue but ooh, i really like this this carryall mm i think is so cute i do know that the monogram one that lisa has that she was seen wearing at the airport it monogram ones has the little twist ties but the leather ones have the little tag which i think is really cute i love that the zipper is really long too so it's like super easy oh i guess that is the only picture but i do like this price point i'm not mad about it 3200 dollars. this is a pretty big bag as well i know the black one is crazy popular and then the cream with the blue Ooh, i actually okay again this is the only photo but normally i am not a guitar strap girl especially from louis vuitton definitely not a guitar strap girl but just from at least this little corner bit i think this is really cute can i even zoom in let's see yeah i like it i think this is white as opposed to cream but who knows maybe it's the lighting but i actually i really like this i like this actually more than their like dove gray with the cream i think this is really pretty okay so there's that just more navy really love the shade of navy let's see what tells I love how I said that this is going to be the Damielicious video, but I'm inserting just random bags that I have seen online and I want to talk about the Alma backpack. I saw this on their runway video and at first I was not really a fan of it. I thought it looked weird and you guys know me, I'm an Alma bag stan, okay? But seeing it more and more in person, like I haven't seen it in person, but I've seen people post about it. I, it actually has grown on me. It's just because it's like tall and long. I don't know. It's like very whimsy for an Alma BB. Um, yeah, yeah. I wish, since this is the backpack though, I wish that they made the leather treated. Let's just triple check. So it's not pre-treated. I mean, at least for a backpack, I feel like it should be pre-treated. I wonder, does this have feet? I don't think it says it. Let's see. Doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah this is, does not have feet <gasps> how dare they not put feet on this backpack Ooh, what a crime what a crime what do you guys think about the alma backpack is it weird is it weird are we crazy okay guys really quickly so i actually expected there to be more pieces because i forgot which louis vuitton instagram i was following it's not foxy lv it was somebody else they listed all the bags that were going to be available in the damielicious collection and unfortunately on the website they only have a couple like not as much as i thought there'd be i don't know if there's going to be like a second wave of more bags so maybe that's what it is the collection is actually pretty Pretty small especially compared to the Louis Vuitton remix collection that one had so many pieces so the only other piece that I was able to find somehow because even when you click show collection this isn't on the front page but they do have a toilet pouch in this which I actually think is super super cute this would be such a great pouch just kind of like a little summer clutch for like brunch maybe going to dinner really quick the only gripe that I have with this toiletry pouch is the size of it looks like it's Viketa let me see. I mean, I'm 90% sure. I wish that they made, just because like this color looks like raw vaquetta. Let's just zoom in. Yeah, it has to be raw vaquetta. There's no way this is a peach color. I wish that for the sides, they either made this pink or they made this yellow. I feel like that would have been way, way better. So the inside is yellow, which I love. So I feel like it would have been more fun if they made the side a color. So either orange or I mean, let's be honest, I think pink would have been like chef's kiss. That would have been really cute. I'm a little disappointed that I can't find anything else other than these like first, what, three, four rows. Yeah, that's about it. I'm not going to count these ones because I believe these are part of the spring summer collection, not specific dummy collection. But out of the items that we talked about today, the top Top three things that I would personally get would either be the pochette accessoires. I mean, I know it's seventeen hundred for a pochette accessoires, but we just have to come to terms with it. It's twenty twenty four. Everything's overpriced, but I would get this because I feel like I could get the cost per wear out of this pretty well. Even though I'm an Alma BB stan, I actually would either get the speedy 20 in this because i just love the shades of green i wish the inside was green like if i can alter it i wish the inside was green but that's just me because i have an affinity for green but i think the shade of mint that they picked is just as pretty so the speedy b20 
the pochette accessoires or the toilet retreat pouch so those would be my top picks purely because as much as i love the pochette matisse east west with the yellow interior i just love the monogram version of this bag so much that one day i definitely do want to add it in my collection maybe in 2025 i'll be able to get it but you guys know me i'm trying to stay my eyes on the prize the goyard mini anju and the micro djoy so yes but definitely i feel like the most popular ones are the neverfull i wouldn't even say that on the go is that popular purely for the price point i mean it's a giant tote bag for three thousand dollars that i mean i understand it's structured it can i'm sure hold way more than the neverfull can but it looks heavy so you're paying a thousand dollars more for weight and color i just feel like it was such an l for louis vuitton to not make at least the pochette accessoires and the neverfull mm because they're so iconically louis vuitton style starter pieces why they don't make both of these ones in two separate colors like the Pichet Matisse is kind of expensive so that I kind of understand just to have it in one color you know but I feel like the Neverfull will fly off the shelves and the Pichet accessoires if people just want a little taste and it would have been smart for them to make these both in the peach color and the pistachio so yes I guess that is my final verdict but again very disappointed that this was all that it was but on the plus side this video is a lot shorter because if there were more pieces this video would be like 20 minutes long thank you guys so much for watching today's video I'm so sorry again how disappointing this is I honestly thought there would be like 10 plus more bags other than the bags that we've already seen let me know down in the comments if you guys are buying anything from this collection well, I will have to say I love that the Damier-licious collection came out purely because I've always been a fan of Damier Azur as you can see when I first first got into Louis Vuitton I liked Monogram, but I didn't love Monogram, but I loved DA so much I know Connor from Connor's Closet. He just got a pre-loved I believe his was a GM. I watched his video, but I have dementia But I believe he has the never full in the GM and I love that his leather is patina too It's just really funny that do you guys remember? I don't know if it was like two years ago or when but there was a time when people were saying that Louis Vuitton was phasing out Dami Azur and I feel like they did for a little bit because you would check on the website and it would be out of stock for like months and months and months but the fact that they came out with a Damier-licious collection especially it's not like Damier of Ben with color it's no joke Damier Azur so like the white base with color on the outside which I love 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 iconic it's not going anywhere which I love and adore do you guys notice that I'm wearing blue eyeshadow with this blue aloe top just to kind of keep with the Dami Azur theme? But yes, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps for my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!